Hello, here I have a Compact Presario CQ57. It's a very old laptop that runs great. Well, it runs fine. Uh, it's got Windows 10 on it now with the SSD. And then the cooling fan went out. So I've ordered a replacement cooling fan. Fan has arrived and today we're going to replace it. So this is just the top half of the cooling fan. It comes out, comes apart as it comes out. So this is a new fan, so we should be in good shape. Start by taking the battery out. Ooh, a lot of screws in this one. I don't remember what SSD I put in here. So that's got a keyboard icon on it. I presume that's the keyboard screw. This is going to be the optical drive. The screw right in the center under the hard drive. Thankfully, each and every one of these screws, except for two, look to be identical. Yeah, so there's that. I'm gonna check to see if I need to take the keyboard out. I think I might. I can see clips here. I'm just never sure what to do with these. Do I push it down or do I push it in? Oh, I see. Push it in there. So if I push it in, then it r leaves room for the keyboard to come up. So let's get the keyboard to come up a little bit. There we go. Yeah. It just takes a touch. You just barely touch that clip there. And the keyboard is allowed to come up. So there's a clip here too. I can get to it. Yeah. And one there. So that was gentle. Okay, keyboard's out. So that's if we take the motherboard off. I don't think we need to take that out. But there is a screw here. It's all shiny and mesmerizing. Yeah, so there's a screw there I'm going to take out. No, I think this computer, the top plate separates from the bottom. So there's a little gap there. I don't want to leave a mark though, so I'm not going to force it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've missed some screws on the back edge. There are four screws here. These are short. Yep, and I can see that it flexes now. It, it, it tells me that the top plate is going to come off. So I'm going to make sure I haven't missed any screws. Yeah. So I got this into this edge. So I was able to fit the tool into here and just pry a little bit and it released some clips. So now I'm going to use a plastic tool just to make sure that I'm not going to leave any marks. So it seems like the right thing to do is go in and pry up. And that tells it to let go. So I think it's pulling this bottom edge out a tiny bit 
to release the clips. And they're pretty much just coming now as I as I pry up with my finger and then just sort of slide the tool along, it finds the clip and the clip just gently releases. I'm not prying with the tool, I'm pulling up on the top plate just gently. So that's all released. And that's released. This is the CD, the optical drive bay. So now it's only holding on at the back. Uh, I guess I do need to take this last ribbon cable off there. And there were two ribbon cables here. Those pulled out when I was lifting up. So there are some clips that are stuck on the back still that haven't released along the back edge. Oh, there they go. There's one clip, maybe two. That was a clip we reinstating. Okay. So now that's up, but it's still being held in by something. A cable. Oh no, it's just stuck. Okay. This computer is so clean. I mean, there were a couple of dust bunnies in there, but it's just... You know when something's been taken care of its whole life, not just cleaned up? It's like that. So the cooling fan is down here below the motherboard. So the motherboard has to come out. And that means a lot of things to be disconnected. So I've got a connection up here, which looks like it's the SATA connector for the optical drive. So this has a little handle on the top, which means I should pull straight up. Nice. I'm going to ground myself now because I might forget to touch this grounding mat. Uh, so this is audio cable. It goes white, black, blue, where white is on the left, blue is in the middle. So we'll disconnect that. It's under some captan tape. And that's for that speaker there. So now there's the, the display connector. It's taped down here. I'm going to unplug it from the motherboard. This one also has a handle on the top, so I just pull straight up. Okay, so that was sort of taped to a piece of tape stuck onto the motherboard. So there's a ribbon cable here and a plug here, which might be, I don't know what it is, power maybe? There's going to be a Wi-Fi antenna somewhere, probably on the back. Yeah. I'm going to remove these connectors from the back before I go too much further. I'll take the RAM out. I'll disconnect the wireless antenna and take out that Wi-Fi card. Uh, and then we have the power lead. So the power jack, I've got red on this side and black on that side. This might not want to come out very easily. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming out. I just want to rock it out a little bit. Left, right, left, right. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Now, let's go check the other side. Uh, I'm sure that's fine. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay, so screws holding the motherboard in. I see one. There might be something under that hinge. Oh no, please tell me. You don't have to take the hinge apart. So I'll take this screw out. Oh, I might have to. I'm just gonna close this lid again and have a look on the other side. Unless there's something under that foot. I might remove this speaker. So there's another screw up in here. I really want to be careful that I don't really want to be taking apart the hinge if I can help it. Maybe I have to take the display off. Don't see why you should have to do that. So 
So that's a speaker. Oh, look at all that. So that's for the hinge that might be holding that down. Uh, I really don't want to take both of these speakers out, take the whole lid off, but I might have to. Oh no, it's coming now. So it's just that speaker. This is wedged underneath that hinge, but I can get it out, I think. Well, maybe I need to open the hinge. Uh, well, that's a rivet. That's not a screw at all. So one more screw for this hinge. Jeez. So now that's loosened up enough that that comes out. Okay. Bit of a faff. I was very happy with the compact design here until we got to that. So, now we have the motherboard cooling fan heatsink assembly. It looks like that's cooling fan. Let's have a look at the new one. There appear to be screws from the other side. Okay. So I need to take the the heat sink off of the CPU. So we got one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna go in reverse, four, three, two, one. So there's the CPU, quite small. Two of the screws are covered by this tape. Um, which I would like to preserve. Okay, good. It's not actually stuck, it just it flips up. I'm gonna cut this. I'm just gonna lift this tape back a little bit. And I probably need a smaller screwdriver tip. No, actually. Wow. Okay. So now I can see that fan wants to fall away, but it's stuck here. So the new one has kind of, it's kind of a tar-like adhesive there. So let me just peel this back. Yeah. Nice. I'm going to clean this while I'm in here. I'm just going to go blow that out. I'm just going to wipe off this. Thermal paste, also from the CPU. So before I stick that on, I'm going to make sure that the screws go in. So let me do the screws first, or at least two of them. all tight. This one could go a little bit more. And then that's tight. Okay, so now we need to put some thermal paste on the CPU. What one, two, three, four. So that's number one there. And make sure it's lined up. So one, two, three, four. All right. Zoom us back out. Hopefully, I'll be able to shove this back underneath that hinge. Ooh, I see it's sandwiched in there. Okay. So now we've got that's the CPU fan power. How was that plugged in? With black toward me. Yeah, like that. Okay. Now that speaker. So I need to get that hinge screwed back in. 
So I'm going to screw the hinge back down first. Okay. And then I think I'll put that speaker back in place because those screws seem to be important with regard to this hinge. There's a magnet in there somewhere. That didn't quite feel right. There we go. Okay, so now the captan tape that was holding down that speaker wire. I don't remember where I got it lifted from. From here, apparently. I think that needs to go on the side. Oh yeah, there's a little... No, I'm not sure. Let's get the display connector connected first. And then we'll worry about the audio. Fiddly. Okay. That's in. So then we can do the audio connector. Oh, I see there's a little white line. There's white drawing of a white line on the board that tells me. So I'm going to put some new tape. This tape is not sticky anymore. Well, let me just snip off the end there where I folded it back. Nice. Oh no, I forgot to put that in. Shoot. Well, I think I need to lift this up again. No. Just enough room for me to wiggle that in place. Yeah, perfect. Lovely. So I can get that in. I've got that in. The IDE connectors in. So I'm going to put that motherboard screw in and this ribbon cable. And now I'm going to flip it over and look at the other side. Okay, so here we had power. I can't do that like this. I think I need to have it open so I can get my hand on the motherboard. And push. Yep, yeah, perfect. Put the Wi-Fi card in. We're not... I feel like there's something else that needs to be holding this in. Yeah, it's really just the top plate, so maybe I should put that in. I think I'm going to. This one is so weird, it's at an angle. There we go, look at that. Lovely. So there was a screw from the top here, and then the keyboard, okay now I should be able to press on things, yes, lovely, I think I'll put that screw in first before I try the antenna. Okay, you got the antenna in. Oh, 
Okay. I can hear the fan, and there's no BIOS warning that there's no fan. So, mission accomplished. That fan is for the bin. And I can hear the, I can hear the new fan, and it's just slowed down, so uh, it's working properly. It's feeding back into the system. It knows how fast it's going. So, that's it. Thanks for watching.